Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the types of computer buses. We will highlight their main characteristics and point out the important functions of each type of a computer bus. Ready? Let's begin. What is a computer bus? This is what we really need to understand first before we get into the types. You can think of a computer bus like a public bus or school bus. These type of buses are used to transport people from one place to another. Just like these buses, a computer bus transmits data from one location to another. In simple terms, computer buses are electrical wires that connect various hardware components in a computer system. Computer bus carries data, control signals, memory addresses and power supply to these components. You can say a bus is a common communication pathway used in a computer system through which data flows from one component to another via motherboard. Alright, I hope you got the basic idea, right? Now let's discuss the types of computer buses. System bus, it connects CPU and the main memory. System bus is also known as a memory. There are three types of system buses, such as data bus, address bus and control bus. Data bus carries data between CPU and other components such as RAM, USB, printer and so on. Data bus is bidirectional, which means data travels in both direction between CPU and RAM. As I mentioned above, buses are electrical wires, where each wire can carry one bit. So 8 wires can carry 8 bits at a time and 64 wires can carry 64 bits in the bus at a time. Wider the bus width, faster would be the data flow on the data bus, which will result in better system performance. Address bus, it contains the memory address of where data is located in the computer, whether it's in the hard disk, RAM or SSD card. Basically, it tells the computer from where it has to send the data and from where it has to get the data. Address bus is unidirectional. That means data travels in one direction only. Control bus, it carries the control signals that make sure everything is flowing smoothly from one component to another. CPU contains a control unit which controls the functioning of all other components connected to the computer. It always monitors the system. Without any control, computer wouldn't be able to determine when data is sent and received. Control bus is particularly used by the CPU to communicate with devices, sending commands and receiving status signals. Now we have internal bus and external bus. Internal bus enables the communication between internal components such as a video card or memory. External bus allows the communication with external devices such as USB or SCSI. Parallel bus versus serial bus. With a parallel bus, data is transmitted several bits at a time. However, with a serial bus, data is transferred one bit at a time. Finally, expansion bus. It's a group of wires used to connect with the expansion slots on the motherboard. Expansion bus connects the most important internal system components like CPU and PCI or PCI Express slots on the motherboard. PCI and PCI Express slots are used to connect the add-on cards like graphic card and sound card to enhance the system performance. Now there are some important functions which are performed by the computer buses like data sharing. All types of buses found in a computer transfer data between devices connected to it. Addressing. A bus has address lines which match those of the processor. This allows data to be sent to or from specific memory locations. Power. A bus supplies power to various components connected to it. And the last function is timing. Bus provides a system clock signal to synchronize the devices attached to it with the rest of the system. Alright, so with that, this wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button.